so what are some specific things we need to look at um, as rehab professionals when assessing hamstring injury? Uh, so there's an interesting paper by Rod Whiteley. Uh, they measured uh, different factors throughout the rehab process. Uh, they looked at straight leg raise, different measures of flexibility, like a straight leg raise, uh, max hip flexion, active knee extension. They also looked at some strength measures too. And they looked at which ones correlated best with um, return to play and return to running progression. So let's dive into some of those assessments. So first, straight leg raise. I like to belt the contralateral leg on this. And then I'll get a digital inclinometer, put it on the tibia for the patient, and then just raise their leg um, with their leg straight as far as tolerable for the patient. So I'll, I'll ask them when, when to stop me for this one. Uh, it can also be the max hip flexion active knee extension. So for this one, ask the patient to hug their thigh to their chest as close as they can. From there, I will use one hand to support that thigh so it doesn't um, extend as they do the test. Then I'm going to have them actively extend their knee. Again, I'm going to put the digital inclinometer on their tibia for this to measure the angle. Um, and in this, they are actively extending the knee. I'm not assisting in any way. Um, so it's, it's, again, just up to their tolerance uh, for this flexibility measure. Another test that I like uh, is the outer range hamstring strength test. I'll just roll through these from the straight leg raise to the max hip flexion active knee extension right to the outer range. Again, it, the contralateral side is belted for all these, so you can keep them in the same position. For this one, I'll get them up to 90 degrees hip flexion and about 90 degrees for knee flexion too. It kind of just depends on their limb length, um, but I'll hold them right at shoulder level for me. Uh, put the dynamometer on their heel and just have them press straight down. So I'll have them hold the table with their hands to stabilize, um, and then they're gonna ease in and then I'm gonna have them pushed for about three seconds as hard as they can building up. And again, early in the uh, injury assessment, this is often just uh, whatever they can tolerate, whatever they're comfortable with. I usually try to keep pain under no more than a three or four out of 10, um, but just let them uh, push to whatever level they're comfortable with for this one. So going back to that Rod Whiteley paper, BJSM, uh, they actually measured athletes, this was 71% soccer players, with hamstring injuries every day using these tests and some other tests as well. So they used the max hip flexion active knee extension, and they found that to be more useful than the straight leg raise to track rehab progress. So they just looked at rehab progress as in 0% being the day of their injury, 100% being um, when they return to play. Um, so they broke it down, the progression of um, the comparison of side to side straight leg raise um, in comparison to 100% return to play. And it seemed that max inflection was uh, a better indicator of their progress throughout rehab. The other one is outer range strength. So they found that to be more useful than mid range strength. And they found mid range strength to be more useful than inner range strength. So outer range strength we depicted earlier. So you, you saw that in the image. That's when they're lying supine, hip at 90, and then pushing down in the dy dynamometer. Mid range strength. They had them test prone, so they were face down. They lined up the testing leg toe with the heel of the contralateral leg. So prone with the hip in neutral and knee flexed to maybe about 35 degrees. Um, and then from there, they're doing a, a hamstring curl into the dynamometer, again with the dynamometer placed at their heel. Inner range strength, this is gonna be the shortest hamstring position. This is gonna be prone. The hip is again at neutral and the knee is flexed to 90 degrees, the dynamometer is placed at the heel and they're curling into the dynamometer again. That's gonna be the shortest hamstring length. But it seems that the outer range strength, the supine one, 90 degrees hip flexion, um, it was best correlated with, uh, with rehab progress and return to running. Uh, 